Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers, also known as the last of the Thorn trilogy before backtracking to H2O. It starts off in a hospital, and the audience is not really sure what's going on. They're in the hospital, and besides the name of the pregnant woman, you'd never guess that it was Jamie. One complaint about that is she really looks a lot much more older than 20. Well, I'll leave that complaint aside. Aside from the hospital or psych ward or whatever it is, it creates suspense for the time being. Jumping ahead, the washroom stall scene and the bar scene are top-notch suspense in my books, especially the stall scene, opening up each door almost sure she'd be there, and then she vanishes through the window. Great stuff. An early complaint is that they kill off Jamie in the first act. I mean, we don't really have many characters to choose from to care about, and they nix one off right away. I suppose Loomis as the only character we should really care about that's left. Kara struggles as a mother and her abusive father in the story is pretty flat until Michael makes his way into town. Loomis makes his way to the house and makes a heartfelt plea to the Strodes to get out. The dad, who you don't have any love for in the movie, sticks to staying in the house and ultimately gets off by Mike in style. One thing I don't get, and it's the same for Jamie in the 4th and 5th edition, is the child's visions go away and essentially explain nothing nor do they add to the plot, something I'm truly lost about. I mean, why include them if they don't continue to add to the plot? It's a script cul-de-sac. One special moment I have to share is in the hospital. Mike takes a long walk past Kara and Tommy, and personally I love it. Here it is. Loomis' acting is top-notch and heartfelt. Not to pause the review, but a look at his talk with the mother in the house is bone-chilling. The ending could have been much worse. The fact they left a cliffhanger on this one I'm not satisfied with. The series is a mess past four, but I'm glad the producer's cut, which I should add is a rarity on its own, would have butchered an already shaky film. For those of you curious about the producer's cut, Give it a watch, but prep for an unnecessary elongated scenes and a very disappointing ending. Halloween 6 really isn't that bad, but it has some great suspense and of course some kill scenes. It just lacks the atmosphere of the original, albeit hard to duplicate. I don't usually rate, but I give it about a 6.5 out of 10. Anyway, not a downer review, there's a lot of upside to this film, just not as strong as the others. The acting, minus Pleasance, could have been better, but not bad. This is HMRG, keep tuning in, see you next review.